I get some water, Max? We go. cold, icy mountain water. I feel good, buddy? Yeah? Ooh, washing my hands. Okay, here we go. We'll do another rock. Let's find another rock. Here's one. See that? Find it. <laughs> it's pretty deep right there. Nothing more peaceful than the sound of a babbling brook. I love it. Hey, okay, Max, let's go for a walk around the pasture, bud. Wow, look at this tree. A buckeye. You can tell by the terminal buds. Look like arrows. Hey, bud. All right, let's go for a walk. The birch tree, isn't it beautiful? Jason painted that once in winter. And it had one red leaf left from the fall. This is one of my favorite trees here. This is a uh, basswood. And these terminal buds are so delicious. I mean, that is good. It's like eating a really sweet nut. But every time you pick off one of them, it means you're not gonna have a leaf. And I like to call this tree the salad tree because their early leaves taste like, I don't know, um, Boston lettuce or just a really sweet, delicious, crunchy lettuce. So, but I do enjoy eating these terminal buds. They are so good. Um, also, the flowers make an amazing tea and they taste very much like jasmine tea and I use them for all my Asian um, wild food feasts. Look at that delicious. So these are gonna get more and more pregnant and bulging over the weeks and then they'll unfurl. So make sure you're watching to see the magic happen. The seed pods look like little round balls hanging down and you can actually make chocolate out of them. This is a great tree to tap for water and the inner cambium bark is highly nutritious as well. 
So and basswood is amazing. The deer like it as well. So that's why the ones that are down lower, they you won't find any buds because the deers have, deer have eaten them. I planted one on my on my acre last summer, so I hope it takes off. Lots of little beech trees holding on to their leaves. You can tell, looking at their terminal buds, they look very much like cigars. Tightly coiled cigars. Look at that beach over there. That is gorgeous. See how smooth its bark is? It's, it's just like elephant skin or something. So beautiful. Look at how they grow a whole colony of babies around there. The mother. Poplars. I like the, main, well, the way Max likes to stay with me. He doesn't want to go too far away. It's like he looks back and goes, are you coming, Mom? I'm coming, bud. Come on. Some of my absolute favorite trees. There's a huge red oak back there, too. Poplar, um, their terminal buds to me look like duck bills. Do you see that? Kind of rounded, long. Hey buddy, stay with mom. Come on. Let's see if they're, if, yeah, you can still see some of their tulip poplar um, seed pods. They look like little tulips. These little wooden tulips way up in the trees. Come on bud, Max, come. I'll probably roll in something. Come on, buddy. This is a magnolia acuminata. Are you okay, bud? I stepped on him. I'm getting two of each. Look how soft those terminal buds are. Their leaves are gonna be huge. It's one of my favorite trees. Those rocks there are a place Max and I like to sit and have our quiet time. Yeah, we're not going to do that today, bud. Just want to go get a magnolia um, grandifolia twigs because their their terminal buds are quite interesting. This is a maple tree. Their terminal buds look like little deer hooves. It's hard to see. They're so small. Come on, bud. There's more of the beach. So I'll pick two of these. One, two, I like this one better. I 
Oh, so here's some oak. See how they look like little fingers or paws or something? Or floor to lee, some of them do. Let's see. We'll get one more. Oh great, he's rolling in some deer poop. Some wild garlic or allium right there, right there. This is another beautiful maple. Yeah, so for uh, many years, my dad would ride his um, golf cart to run Chippy, his collie, Chippy 5, around the perimeter of the pasture. And that was always a really happy sight. Okay, here's the, I don't know if I can reach that or not. Here's the magnolia. Oh, I can reach that. Okay, look at these. These are super cool. I think they look kind of like witch's claws. Aren't they funky? Wow. That's so neat. Okay, so I've got two of everything. I want to go get some buckeye over here, though. And then I'll get some apple twigs as well. These just, I have a really fun game I'm concocting for a game day with kids where I need to have two of each type of tree. And I'll explain it when you watch them play the game. This mountain is just kind of haunted with memories for me. My parents are passed away. Daddy died in 2008. Mom died in 2015. And then, um, you know, Chippy's gone and Skipper's gone. But the land remains and I come here all the time. So they're just kind of really precious memories. That I wish I could relive, but um, I do in my mind and my heart. And I'm really grateful for. Look, you can see the tulip poplar. This is a better angle because the sun is not shining in my face, and there's the moon. There's a buckeye tree over here, and it usually has low enough branches that I can get some of their terminal buds. So let's see what I can get. These are the first ones to open up in the spring, and they are magical. They literally have 45 leaves come out of one bud, one terminal bud. 45, it's just, it's unbelievable. It would be fun to do a time lapse of that. Okay. So here's one. This is a buckeye. And buckeyes are so beautiful. They're not edible though. But they are useful. So those are the two buckeyes. So I have buckeyes and magnolia grandifolia, magnolia cuminata, beech, which is I'm trying to remember. 
fag fagus, I think. I'm not sure, I don't remember. And then the, this is definitely a red oak. Rubus quercus. And yeah, I need to get some maples. The apple tree is in the middle of the pasture and it was struck by lightning about 11 years ago, but it still produces miraculously. And this field is just full of dandelions. So this will be a location for collecting dandelion blossoms to make dandelion wine and so forth in April. And they are full of beautiful violets too. So it's a great place to collect violets to make jelly, to candy for pastries. So we'll go over to the apple tree and get a couple of twigs there. Are you happy boy? <laughs> Look at his shadow. Yeah, it's not, he doesn't like being indoors all the time. I don't either. It was up to me, I'd be foraging all day, every day. Just to be outside, get the fresh air, get the sunshine, see what kind of miracles there are to observe, gather free food. And I can never keep a good thing to myself, so I always share with others what I'm learning and what, I, what I've experienced because half the fun is sharing. Yeah, so see how this tree was just zapped and yet it produces so abundantly. It's just crazy. Look at that. Okay, so let's find a couple of good twigs. I think I'll take that one. And I'll take this one. Oops. And it's so beautiful to watch, just to see these open up into little tiny leaves, which are edible, and also the flowers are glorious. And then the flowers get pollinated and they turn into apples. So there'll be hundreds of apples on this little tiny broken tree. There's rose hips. There's also some poke around the corner, but it's hiding in the ground right now. Let's see, there's also lots of Queen Anne's lace in here, so I would be gathering this in August. There's um, the dandelions, of course, red clover, oh my word. This is an amazing field full of red clover, so I've gathered lots of that here. And what's fun about it is that the farmer will um, harvest the hay when the grass gets, you know, like thigh high or something. Maybe twice a summer, so I get to have new growth all over again many times, uh, several times throughout the summer. So if I miss it the first time, I can get it the second. Plantain is also abundant in here as well. Hey buddy, you want to get another drink? Let's go over here. You can get a drink over here next to the birch tree. Come on buddy, over here. Max, come. Over here. Good boy. So this whole area here is bee balm. Beautiful red bee balm. Monarda fistulosa. And that whole thing will be red in July. Did you get a drink? Yeah? Okay. Me to throw a rock for him. Okay. I'll do it. Here we go, Max. Ready? Find it. Find it. Oh, good. 
Good boy. Oh, that's a good rock. Nicely done. <laughs> oh, oh, you put it over there. Okay. Here. I'll throw another one. Here's a big one. This will make a splash. Go get it. That's too big, buddy. That's too big. Find another one. Here. Here's a little one. Ready? There we go. So here's my catch for the day. I'm so excited. Such miracles. Thank you, Lord. Oops, I'm gonna go get a basswood tree and then I'll get going. Come on, buddy, you got work to do. Let's get home. I've got to overlay my latest class on the magic of seeds, which is such a good class. Come on, bud. Wow, look at these holes under this tree. Look, Max. Okay, I just want to get a couple of basswood twigs.